What's up guys, it's Adam here from the Frenzy Brothers, and today we are talking over a poor little child. Sorry. Um, but actually no, today we are going to be playing some more Skyrim, doing another guide. I hope you've been liking this series, I hope you've been finding it useful. If you have, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below some videos. And yeah, let's get right into it. So today we're going to be talking about hidden chests in Skyrim. So I'm going to be showing you all three or four locations of hidden chests that I know of. So we are here in the beautiful city of Whiterun. And that is going to be the location of the first hidden chest. So this one right here is kind of a difficult one. This is the most difficult chest location but you're gonna want to jump up on top of this little you, you saw the entrance is right there it's like right where you spawn but you're gonna want to walk back into this little room here and jump on this barrel and don't if you like you kind of glitch off if you're not really on it but you got to get 100 percent on it and you're gonna try to jump out that door or out that uh little wall so it's a little bit hard because it's kind of a head banding jump but if you get there, definitely spam your jump bu button, because it might work. But I'm just going to hopefully get this. It's if I don't get it this attempt, I'll cut and you'll see me later. Okay, I did get that attempt. Wow, success. So yeah, you're going to jump right out here, and you can see there's the front. And the reason it, the reason it is all glitchy and trash looking is because... Well, it's technically not even in the game. Like, we're not really supposed to be here, but obviously they, they hid this. So, and it's... They made they made it, but they it's not made... I don't know, that's kind of confusing, but like, you know, it's not... I'm not We're not supposed to be here, really. But they want us to be. That's the best I can. So, yeah, the, everything... Uh, it does get, like, maybe a little bit glitchy. Depends on if you're running Skyrim on a potato. I know on console it's not that bad. But I know the further you run out, the more glitchy it gets. So just you, can, it's not that hard. But you're just gonna want to follow this wall until you get up into the Skyforge location, and that is gonna be the location of our first chest, like the exact location. But the Skyforge is up at the top, kind of next to the uh, hold, not the hold, the Reach, I think it's called. I don't know, but the big building right there, it's, it's right next to that, if you're inside the city, but we're outside. So you can see, you can hear it, if you can hear it, it's gonna be, it's right up there, but don't, don't worry, if you see any of these glitches, you're not gonna fall through the world, uh, you, it's just not technically there. So you're gonna wanna come here, there's a Skyforge, you can get a nice little look in it. What you wanna do is come right to this little wall. There's the ground. You're going to want to jump up here like I showed you. And you're just going to walk straight through that. You know, it's a thing. Don't worry. This will also not make you... Oh, gosh. I'm stuck. Okay, no, mind, I lied. You, so you can just walk right through. It might be a little bit difficult to get it, but you just look up, maybe jump or something. And then you're going to search for the, in the chest. So this is obviously the Skyforge chest, and it is all... Like a vendor chest, every single one of these hidden. So it gets the kind of stuff that they would sell. You see, Dwarven Shield. Keep in mind that this does scale with your level. I am level 41. So if you're about the same level, you'll be getting the same stuff as me. But if you're a little bit lower, you're going to get a little bit worse stuff. You got a glass mace, an ebony sword, definitely nice. And more glass, elven arrows, dwarven arrows, orcish arrows, ebony battle axe. Iron arrows, glass bow, you see it, all this stuff, and each chest will give you about a thousand, at least 500 above, depending on your level. And there we go, you get this. And then the main reason why you be, why you'd go to this one, obviously you get all those nice uh, swords and some armor, but you also get all this it, so you can use that. There's some really good stuff, and you just get all this stuff and this all of these chests will respawn in about 10 in-game days so you can wait a lot and it'll slowly start refilling or you can just I recommend just playing the game just having a fun time coming back whenever you need this stuff but I'm just gonna leave everything else in there except for the arrows because that's all I really need 
But if you're wondering how you get out of this place, it's simple. All you have to do is fast travel. So we're going to be fast traveling to the next location, which we will go to Dawnstar. This is probably the most well-known chest. So it is hidden by a mine. And it is the owner of the Khajiit caravan. And there's a nice little glitch here that if you sell stuff to the... Uh, the shopkeeper you can uh, get you get gold and then you can go into this hidden chest the caravan would usually be oh never mind not usually it is right here like right behind you but yeah you can sell stuff and then it will appear in there I'm pretty sure Ooh, Carjo I can make you my follower if I wanted to but I don't want to it's not the guy so you're just gonna want to run over here as you saw the Khajiit caravan and that's kind of near the spawn and just run all the way over following this path it's pretty noticeable you'll be able to find it this is the mine right here So there's the mine and if you look just to the left this odd little thing rocks they're called rocks if you look on the ground you'll notice that there's a little search chest as you can see there's not a chest there it's a rock but it is hidden in the floor so we need to find it again. It can be a little bit difficult to find. Just look around, you'll find it. And then in the sir and this is pretty much all of your well like well rounded chest here. You get all the stuff that Khajiits can sell. See all these stuff. I this one isn't as good as the like the smithing one, obviously because that's smithing, but this does have some other good things like potions, this one has tons of potions, other miscellaneous items. You can take the nice gold and all the other stuff in here that you'd like. So I'm just getting scroll through and show you all the things. Um, do, 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 do. I just want to see what this is. Oh, this is also the like one of the best places if you're wanting to level up your, uh, what do you call it? your enchantment that's what it's called enchanting because all a lot of these have a enchantment on it so you can go just take it unchant it come back in 10 days in game days obviously not real days and you're able to re-get all this nice loot and re-upgrade it. it does take a little bit of time but oh this is the best sword in the game just point it out there it's the greatest the one and only wooden sword professional that looks good Ooh, I actually don't have that, but I don't have enough carry weight. So, you know, this, I'm level 41 again, so you're probably not going to be getting a dwarven armor of eminent destruction unless you do have the, uh, level, unless you're 41 or above. And you'll probably be finding more better stuff if you are higher than 41, like me. But that is going to be the location for this, this chest. And... So they can go to any of the stables and teleport to these, or teleport fast travel to all of the holds, Dawnstar. And the next location we're going to be talking about is in Solitude. This is probably one of the least known ones, in my opinion. So you're going to fast travel here. And this one is hidden, I believe, in the Blue Palace, it is called. And this one is probably the hardest or the second hardest to get into because it does involve a plate and a wall. And those two in Skyrim don't mix very well. But here you go, in the spawn here, you just got to go. And you see on the top with my little, like, map thing, I guess you can call it, there's like a little pillar thing, kind of. You're going to be heading there, so it, it's going to be obviously see-through unless you've already discovered it. But just keep heading towards that area, and then you'll be able to find it. So yeah, I'm going to go right in here. At least I believe this is called the Blue Palace. Let me just make sure before I look like an absolute fool. It is called the Blue Palace. So to head into the blue palace if I can just find the entrance here oh it's right here what am I doing open the blue palace you're gonna go in here and like I said this involves plates and walls and those don't mix well it is definitely hard because in case you didn't know 
some walls, not all the walls, can be glitched into with a plate if you perfectly prop it up onto the into the wall. But you can just go ahead, take a platter. Make sure you do not steal it. Um, Solitude is not a very uh, nice place for you to steal stuff. Um, this is the Imperial Hideout. But you're going to want to go to this little house with this weird little bench thing here. A nice little handy way is just to do that and lodge it into the, uh, what do you call it, the ban bench. Oh, you got to be kidding me. But it will eventually stick up there, and it doesn't matter what side. I noticed that the back is a little bit easier, but it really doesn't matter. And just slide it on in. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. But here it is. There, there. You're going to walk right in through here, and you're going to hopefully glitch through this wall. So you can see it's trying to go. Like You might just have to pull it down a little bit if you can. And you might, it might take a few attempts, but you can see I'm trying to, I'm slowly kind of glitching through. There you go, I got it, perfect. So there's the wall right there, and here, if you screw up, you, don't worry, uh, you can, you're going to glitch through the bottom, but you don't really want to, to do that. So what you want to do here is walk along this little weird thing, and kind of jump, and be ready to, to Bam your. Oh, rip. Be able to spam your, like, open or open chest button. But once you get it, it's a lot easier the second time around, so you can do it pretty quickly, just like I did first try on my second time around. But you gotta just quickly open the chest and make sure you don't fall into the room like I just did. But then you will find the chest. Let me just. Quickly. Hello guys, I am here again, and uh, I, I think I got the strategy down. I just I want to do it on camera. You just gotta glitch through, pretty easy. Then from here, I know I still haven't found the like. There's like a little path here. Oh, oh my goodness, why? I just told you I got the strategy down, and. The next time I come here, I fail. Whatever. Make sure you're at the very edge before you jump, because you don't want to fall into this room. Also, could you just... No, you can't. Okay. If you glitch into this room here, you just have to find the exit right here and go upstairs. And then here's the platter bench location thing. Oh, I just goofed. There we go. Okay, this one better be it. And myself. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, like I said, this is the most difficult one. But it is probably the most profitable one, as this one here provides you with the most, um, like, spell books and stuff. That's how I learned a lot of my spells. I swear I got it. Are you lying to me right now? Ugh. This one's definitely the most frustrating, but just stick with it. You'll get it. And if you are a, uh, where did that even go? Oh, it's right here. If you are a, uh, sorry if this offends you, a noob, then, and you don't have any, like, spells or anything, then this is a really great, um, hidden chest for you. If you want to become a major battle major, anything that has to do with magic has a lot of. Once again, I swear I got that. It has a lot of magic spell books and such other magic items. Don't tell me I have to move this. That's all I can move. Okay, back up you go. Okay, I got this once before off camera, and I think I might just keep trying it now until I get it, because I don't think anyone wants to watch me try to hit this platter over and over again. At least I hope no one wants to watch me do that. And if you do, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you like your platter. 
hitting ceremony. Can you come out? Okay, I'm going to figure this out, and I'll be back in a bit. Hopefully, don't do my intro. Whew, guys, I did it. And I am not going to tell you how long that took. Uh, it probably won't take you as long. I mean, it's just kind of like whenever you film in something, you, something's bound to go wrong, you know. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm here. <clears throat> Whew. Refreshed. But yes, I'm here. And uh, this is what's con these are the contents of this hidden chest in the solitude is what it is. It's been so long that I can't even remember where I am. In Blue Palace in Solitude, that's where I am. So you got soul gems, you got gold, you got all these scrolls, and then you start getting to the spell tombs. So just go through and just every single spell tomb and use your use button I'm pretty sure I've already done oh I haven't learned familiar oh wait no what is it called I forget what it's called it's like frenzy I believe yeah frenzy just keep going through and hopefully you get some new things I never learned mage light or rally oh crap I'm sad now but don't spam it too hard as that will happen to you now we need to know what I just used I who really cares but yeah you're just so that is the next guide also be be uh, careful when stealing your plate or picking it up as the guards might notice and the people who own this place oh no please tell me it's not a guard I'm not here. I promise you I'm not. Crap, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Shh, they don't know I'm here. I haven't gotten a bounty yet, so we are good. I didn't do anything except for steal a plate. Because it got stuck in the thing. Okay, hopefully they're not, all the guards aren't after me. If they are, I might have to reload my save, but I really wouldn't care because I only got 500 gold. Okay, the next location is not too far out of, mm, one sec, let me look at my notes really quick. Uh, sorry. Oh no, where is it? It is in Markoth, not Morthal, Markoth. And this one is going to actually be hidden outside of Markoth. Or, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Markoth. Karth, sorry. If, I can't really pronounce things, so don't get too triggered at me. You can kindly tell me in the bottom, or not in the bottom, in the comment section. But this is pretty much the last chest that there is or at least that I know of that was odd but what you're gonna want side of there's the door of Mark Arth, and you're gonna want to head out into just follow my steps I'm actually not 100% sure where this is it's been a long time since I've been in this chest okay I believe this might be it hold up this doesn't seem right also, there's just a random bird's nest. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not it. Just keep walking, and I'll tell you when I... Here it is. Yep, I knew I, I knew it wasn't there. I, I, in my notes, I put, in, like, near a bridge. But that's not it. So you're going to want to come to this little broken down wall. And just look right here. Not mountain flowers search chest here's the other one i haven't actually ever opened this i just realized that but this one also has some enchantments and spouring i'm gonna take that and um just so it has lots of great stuff that's pretty good too that's actually expensive uh and this one is also kind of a random stuff one got a lot of different things inside 
a lot of which I really don't care about. I'll take this because it seems like I always turn into a vampire. I'm just wasting all my stuff. Ooh, skooma. Uh, if you guys like skooma, comment it down below. Uh, I personally, uh, I like skooma a lot. Not really, I've never actually used it, but it's just for the memes, you know? But yeah, that is, that's pretty much what you're getting. Nice steel plate armor. And that is located here in Morthal. Oh, I'm, I'm fat, I forgot. Not Morthal, Markars. I must learn this. But that is going to do it for the guide. Uh, I'm, I'm overweight right now. I, I carry weight, not that kind of weight. But I hope you guys have been full. Hold up, I, I must do one more thing. I'm going to let you guys all cringe at me while I miss this shot. Okay. Oh, I wasn't sneaking. I'm, I'm not good at this game. Trust me. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, oh. Why am I even sneaking? Okay, Mr. Mud Crab, let me just... Oh, that was the wrong shout. Um... I'm so sorry. This is. This guy is pretty good, isn't he? Oh, I'm on legendary. What am I doing right now? Whew, okay. Well, that's that's the guide. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have liked it, or commented your thoughts and such. But that is going to do it for this Skyrim guide. I hope you enjoyed. Kind of a long one. There, as I find new chests, as, or as I hear about new chests, I will be guide making guides on them. But so far, these are all the big ones I know. I know there's a few other ones, but I just think we're kind of running out of the time. But that is going to be it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed.